Question 29. A beam of red laser light of wavelength 633 nanometer is incident normally on a diffraction grating with 600 lines per mm. So this is my N. Or there are 600 lines in 1 mm. Okay. Beam of red light is now replaced by blue laser light. Okay, we change color. So now we have blue laser light with wavelength of 445 nanometer. A replacement diffraction grating is used so that the first order maximum of the blue light okay, first order maximum of the blue light appears at the same position on the screen as the first order maximum for red light from the original laser. Okay, so what we are doing now is we are changing lights. We change it from red to blue. But I also change the grating such that the first order maximum is still at the same place, meaning this theta is constant. Okay, first order maximum of blue light appear at the same position on the screen as the first order maximum of the red light of the original laser. This statement tells me that theta is constant. How many lines per mm are there in the replacement diffraction grating? Okay, so meaning I will shine a light here, lambda 1, which is red light, Red light is 633 nanometer. So I'm going to write that down here. 633 nanometer. And the grating, this grating uh, N is 600 lines per mm. So I'll put mm negative 1, okay? Then I replace this with blue laser light. Okay, blue laser light, lambda 2. 445 nanometer and this new diffraction grating let's say n2 is what i want to find okay let's say call this one n1 such that the first order red line is here but also at the same time the first order blue line is also here so the theta is the same value okay so we we need an equation to relate Lambda, theta, n. And the only equation that, that is present for you in your diffraction grating that you should think about is d sine theta is equal to n lambda. Okay? But hold on to your horses here. There are a lot of things here that are constant. Remember, ratio is your best friend. So let me pull the screen here a bit so I got space. So d sine theta is equal to n lambda, but also at the same time, if I want to find d, uh, d is equal to 1 over n. All right, so 1 over n. If I want, I can convert it to meter. But since the final answer is also mm negative 1, I won't convert. Lah, okay. Convert if you want to find values. I'm going to use ratio. All right, so identify the variables. I can change the line separation, d. So I change the diffraction grating. I can change the wavelength. I change from red light to blue light. But first order maximum so the first order is the same as the first order so because of this n is also constant my friends if let's say when you see the paper when it's your time or your turn and they tell you first order for red light is the same position as second order for blue light then your n is not the same now huh? But today is the same. Okay? But if they go and put first order is the same position as the second order, then n is not the same. Then you treat your ratios accordingly. Okay? So from here I can modify my equation. 1 over n uh, is proportional to lambda. Because everything else is constant. Okay? Theta and n constant. Okay, these two numbers are constant. All right, so if it's inversely proportional, and I can just say lambda 1 over lambda 2 will be equal to n2 over n1. Okay, ratio is your best friend. Hopefully this part is okay by now.
right? If not, you can obviously substitute form two equation and divide them. Do slower. Lo. So in this case, I have lambda one, which is six three three, and lambda two, which is four four five. The beauty about doing or being able to write ratio is that you don't need to use your prefix. Nanometer and nanometer will automatically cancel off. Okay, and part of it being inversely proportional is if let's say I take lambda one. Inverse means 1 over n1. If I take lambda 2, inverse here means 1 over n2. Okay, so from here, I'm looking for n2. And do I have n1? Yes, 600 mm negative 1. So this nanometer and this nanometer will cancel out beautifully. Nail now, no more. And then you can now just find your N2. Okay, which is 445 over 633 times 600. Ratio is your best friend. All right, so from here, what I get is 853 mm negative 1. So 853 mm negative 1, the closest one I have is 850. Okay, rounded to 2SF. So whenever they ask you a diffraction grating question, there are two ways that they can ask. They can ask something like this using ratio. They can change other things one. Okay, they can change, uh, for example, the number of order, whether it's first order or second order. They can also obviously change the light, change the diffraction grating, just treat the equation accordingly. If let's say N is still here, then you will have N in front of lambda. Then you put the N here, no? in front here. Okay, do some past year questions regarding that. Or the second one will be, you have to find the value of theta. If you have to find the value of theta, which by the way, I can, because I have all the values here. Okay, then you have to convert. So in this second, the question is solved, but in this second portion, I will just explain to you why you need to convert for the second value of theta. Let's say you want to find value of theta. D sine theta is N lambda, and I'm going to use red light. Because red light is the one where I have all the information from. So this D will be 1 over 1 mm can fit 600 lines. There, 600 lines per mm. So here I will take 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 over 600. We need to convert. Why? Because we are looking for sine theta. And sine theta has to be, all the units have to cancel out. Okay, this N is 1. Lambda for red light just now was 633 nanometer. 633 times 10 to the power of negative 9. If you convert everything to meter, the units will naturally cancel off. Okay, so just with a quick press of my calculator. 3, negative 3. I'll get my sine theta as 0 0.3798 so I can find my theta this is 22.3 degree okay and this is how you can also check your answer okay answer check M means you can think I can repeat for blue because uh, I just found the answer for blue and I want to check my answer can so for blue it's gonna write here uh, 850. Everything else is the same, right? Sine theta is equal to 1 times wavelength of blue light was 445. So you can put 445 here. Okay, and from the working, you can tell this is why we can use ratio because we are substituting a lot of same values that will cancel out when we divide them. So just by quickly changing some numbers in my calculator, Four, four, five. Of course, it's not going to be the exact value because we rounded some numbers, but they should be close to each other. So sine theta will be 0 0.37825. So I will sign inverse my answer, and this will be 22.2 .2 degrees. Okay? So I'm satisfied. They're close enough. Uh, so this is how you can check your answer. And also... This is how this one is for blue light. Nah. 
check the wavelength. Nah. Okay. So you can check one. And so the note, the point of doing this is for you to understand, you will have to convert to SI here. Whereas the previous one, when we do ratio, we don't have to convert to SI because the units cancel. But whenever you are not sure, just convert. Lah. Make sure you don't do wrongly. Can now. All right, that's it for this question.